Hello, miners. Rusty coming at you. We're going to take a quick look at another sod buster I acquired. This particular sod buster is in Kin's Folks. Kin Folks Jigging. And it's called Jade, the color. So, like all the sod busters, we're going to have a brass liners. This particular one is in their stainless steel what they call true sharp and i do believe that it's stamped I'm trying to get that light to work with me and hopefully there we go you can see this blade this one actually i don't feel a burr on so it might be okay so let's talk about this knife my knife experience with it I think the settering is pretty good. When I got it, it did have a little bit of drag, a little bit of grit. Uh, I flushed it out. Now I do that with almost all of my flip point joint knives. I do a hot water. I'll actually put some Dawn soap right here and I'll run the water as hot as it'll go. And then I'll take a brush and brush the whole thing. Try to brush this way. And then um, rinse it, and then I'll go and I'll get like uh, more soap, get it in there, run some water till it, you know, suds, and then you go like this, and you'll get any grit, you wipe that off, and I'll take it and I'll lay it in front of a fan. The fan will be laying, and it'll blow the air on this. I might take and go like so or like so, wipe it out, hold up a paper towel. Then I'll put in some lube and on my traditional knives I'm using Lucas product real oil and that's a real as in fishing reel and I think it does a nice job but this particular one I did at home I do a lot of this stuff at work uh, and I have KPL at home and it did smooth up I want to mention and I said in other videos that dye does bleed off which can change you know they make your knife a little bit uh, lighter and on my other uh, buster a lizard skin it actually took and almost turned like a white right here and I may burn that because that lizard skin has burnt bone so check out the shield tested xx let's go back to that jigging kin folks so we all know case was started by some brothers there's a lot but that whole family uh the case uh they had some cousins i'm not going to try to remember the names gene and john and oh tent and champlin champlin i'm not sure their names um some were brothers some were cousins they started um case knives they started kin folks or used to be kin folks knives and kin folks being cousins relatives so that's part of where the name for this jigging comes that's pretty cool you can see those little cuts on each of those ridges and i'm happy with the way the die job turned out on this i got this off of centex blades on ebay and the pictures are very representative of what you get with the knife. Probably paid 52 to 57 dollars. I don't remember. And I want to say I paid 37 for this, and this is their rough black. So this is a Delrin. And I've sharpened this myself, and for a while. I thought that this, I cut a pork chop. I'm like, this steel sucks. <laughs> I ate a pork chop. It actually split through the pork chop nicely, divided it. But uh, I'm like, it's not sharp right here. And it's still not sharp right here. And what I found is this pin right in here. I don't know if we can find it. It's hitting. So after I sharpen this, bam. And it's making it dull right here. The rest of the knife is very sharp. This one had a bit of an over 
curve where they over sharpened it and went wow all this exaggerate you know and uh but i don't remember the action part of the reason i like to do these videos is so i can remember my knives when they were new and i get to remember if how the knife arrived so after lubing this thing it is becoming much better it's not quite as good as this one but i'm only talking i mean i did this this morning it's now maybe one or two in the afternoon and so seeing improvement in hours so anyways we'll wrap this up as you might expect i will be doing some sort of summary on the sod busters if you want to check it out you'll see this one again along with four or five different sawbusters. Thanks for joining the miner.